Sometimes the question is asked, should we use control charts if our data are autocorrelated? Now, that's the sort of thing that Six Sigma folks just love to debate around the campfire at night, you know. Uh, I've uh, put together some data here, and let's uh, first figure out what means autocorrelated. All that means is that if I take my data set and offset it this way, one or two or three or four uh, cells down, and run a regression on it, that um, I will get a correlation. Let's go over here. You can obviously see that there's a, a, a trend in that data. And if I go to my session window, my p-value is zero. So yes, uh, the uh, correlation between the two is well established. Well, okay. Um, how does autocorrelation come about in uh, process data? Well, it comes about um, from having a process, a lot of times, from having a process that looks like this that has uh, very distinct shifts in it, okay? And uh, autocorrelation is one way that your process has of indicating that it's changing, and, and clearly this one is. So um, the, the same thing that causes, auto, that causes you to test positive for autocorrelation causes your process to not be stable and predictable, and this one is surely not stable and predictable. I have rule violations attached to most of my data. Uh, Walter Schuert, who invented control charts, uh, did them on, uh, on autocorrelated data. Um, Don Wheeler, who probably understands more about them than, than anybody I know, uh, says it's perfectly okay to do control charts on uh, data that are, not, that, that are autocorrelated. And here's why. Uh, process behavior charts or control charts are not a test of whether your data are stable and predictable. Uh, we often are lazy and, and, and say that it is, but it's really not. Uh, the job of a control chart is to detect instability. And if you detect no instability, then you're justified in saying that your process is stable and predictable. So I think a correct statement is that if your data are uh, autocorrelated, they are not going to look stable and predictable to you. They're going to look uh, like this data set does, and they should. The process behavior chart should send off signals uh, when you've got a data set like this, and it does.